Hey, what's up everyone? I am Brian and welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be a very quick video, but I just wanted to showcase to you folks how I plan on testing out these Time USB batteries for maybe a month, month and a half. And also to take a look at this reliable 3000 watt 24 volt inverter, which is what I'm having to use because I have these Time USB batteries hooked up in series creating 24 volts. So I've got the two batter, the two Time USB batteries hooked up in series down here. I just built a very simple little plywood box. I've got the reliable 3000 watt inverter on top and I've got just a little mini surge protector hooked up on the side. And so this is what I'm going to be using most of my main everyday items for to, to try to test out these batteries, you know, on a daily use. So I've got my fan hooked up that I have running constantly. I've got my USB outputs that I'm, use, that I'm going to use to charge my phone. And I've also got some LED lights hooked up on both sides and those are going into this USB panel back here. But as far as this inverter is concerned, so far just in, in, in immediate testing has been fabulous. Like I haven't even heard the fans cut on and I've done a few tests on it. So this, this inverter does display your current battery voltage as well as the output voltage. And it's got two standalone 15 amp receptacles. And the cool thing about this unit is, is it's got a hardwired terminal block that this particular block is good for up to 25 amps. So you can run something like Romex wiring into these terminals and technically run, you know, household electrics. If you have a small, very small, you know, cabin or shed, you can run Romex directly to this terminal and hardwire all of your outlets to where you don't actually have to plug it in. Best case scenario is to, is to run this and, you know, build another sub panel, which is a whole nother video in and of itself. But you can just get, you know, regular Romex and tie into this and you're going to have full 25 amps worth of power hardwired to this inverter. But the way that I have this set up, I'm just going to be using the small power strip plugged into it to run my everyday items that I'm going to be using. But I want to show you guys the voltage and the sine wave off of this inverter with around a 215 watt load. So just for testing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and put my probes in here. And then I've got, I'm going to use my incandescent little light setup that puts off around 210 watts. Complete silence, nothing coming out of that inverter right now. And sine wave is dead on perfect. And that's at 121.1 volts. So I kind of see why a lot of people use the, this reliable 24 volt inverter. It just, so far it seems to be great. And we're gonna give this a run with the time USB batteries to make sure that this whole setup runs. So I'm gonna be using this setup to kind of A, test the time USB batteries and to test this reliable 3000 watt inverter. And so far both have been fantastic. Now there's been a lot of reviews on this reliable inverter and so far pretty much all of them have been great. Um, it's more of your budget type inverter. It's not a, a it's not a thousand dollar inverter, which is good. We don't always want to have to go spend that much money on an inverter. This seems to fit the bill really well for what I need and it's got enough power, especially being 24 volts, a 3000 watt inverter should honestly be able to power everything that you would need in terms of lighting, air circulating, charging phones, charging batteries, things like that. It's, you know, I wouldn't recommend a 3000 watt inverter for powering an AC unit or a, you know, a dryer or, or things like that. But this specific inverter is perfect for a very small off-grid cabin, solar shed, little mobile cart if you want to build one. So I think this inverter is going to end up doing really well. Again, I'm just going to keep this set up here for about a month. And every time I come out, you know, I'm going to obviously turn on my LED lights. I mean, these, these lights are, are plenty for when it's dark in here. It just lights up my workbench, which is really all that I need at night when I come in here. But that's why I have it set up like this again. It's just everyday type items that, that I, you know, I keep this fan running constantly plugged into my wall outlet. So now instead of wasting my home electricity, I'm going to keep it plugged into this inverter and these time USB batteries and, you know, let it run it that way. But so far, I think it's a very simple setup. And it just goes to show how easy something like this is to create to power devices. I mean, it's just, you can even do it with one battery, honestly, but this is just two batteries and an inverter, some four gauge wire, and that's it. And I'm up and running and I'm powering a fan and some lights right now. So guys, that's a really short video, but again, this was just kind of, of a segue into the next video, which is gonna be in about a month as an update to both of these batteries and the actual inverter itself. Nothing special here, but I just wanted to put that out there so I can refer back to this original video when I do my update. So anyway, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.